Hey yo, Mark here for Mark's Max Muscle. And today I'm going to be doing a profile on Katie Sandwina. Otherwise known as the Lady Hercules, she was a real powerhouse and a very impressive circus strong woman. So without further ado, let's take a look at Katie Sandwina. Born just outside of Vienna, Austria in 1884, Katerina Brumbach, which was her birth name, was brought into this world in the back of a circus wagon. Brumbach's parents were both circus performers, and she too was destined to follow in their footsteps. She was the youngest of 14 children. Her father, Philippe, stood 6'6 six six and weighed 260 pounds, quite a large one for his time. Her mother, Joanna, at almost six feet tall, was a circus strong woman herself, with a bicep measuring 15 inches. That's quite an impressive bicep, to say the very least. Well, impressive if you're a, a girl. Anyway, as a teenager, Katie was nearly six feet tall and weighed a lean 190 pounds. With this type of size and strength, combined with her good looks, made her a main attraction anywhere she performed. Her father would offer 100 German marks to any woman or man that could best her in a wrestling match, and she never lost a single match. Her opponent one night was a man by the name of Max Heyman. After she defeated Heyman quite easily, the couple would later get better acquainted and would actually go on to be married. So she knocked him out and carried him off, basically. All great romances start in a wrestling ring. While traveling to the United States in 1902, Katie would challenge none other than Eugene Sandow to a weightlifting contest. She would remarkably lift 300 pounds over her head, and Sandow failed at his attempt. She was victorious. After this, she would forever be known as Sandwina, named after the man she defeated. Also after this, she would no longer wrestle and stuck with the feats of strength in her act. Here she is displaying her toughness as a human bridge. That hurts just to look at. And here she is, about to snap a chain in two. Here's another amusing stunt. Sanduina would actually hold her husband Max to her side as if he was a rifle, and she would pretend to shoot. During her career working for Barnum & Bailey, she would earn upwards of $1,500 a week. That's an amazing amount of cash for those days. Or for these days, for that matter. Of course, her extraordinary career didn't stop her from giving birth to two sons. In the 1940s, the Sanduina family had stopped the performance lifestyle and moved to Queens, New York, opening a cafe and bar. Sadly, in 1952, Katie Sanduina died of cancer. She was 67 years old. Katie Sandwina was an amazing and inspirational woman in a time where females struggled in society. Imagine how inspired a young girl would be seeing Sandwina lift her husband up over her head with one hand after perhaps being told that women are not as strong as men. What an inspiration indeed. She will always be known as one of the strongest women to have ever lived. She is Katie Sandwina, a true legend. Well, that about does it for this one. I'll be sure to keep a lookout for more interesting characters like Sandwina to do more profiles just like these in the future. So keep a lookout for them ones. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.